And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved Mega Factory. Well, we ran into a slight problem. Okay. It's a little bit more than a slight problem. It's a big problem. So, I punched one hole in, up for the lithium. Unfortunately, it was right here. I think it was... No, it was way over here. Yep, here it was, right here. And yes, there's ore in there. But worse of all, the hive was, it almost went through the exact heart of the hive. So it really, really wasn't an option. So I punched another one right here. And as you can see, there's a little bit of hive in there. But it's a lot less hive than what it, was, what it was before. And I think we might be able to manage to take off these little tendrils that are out here. One there. And one right there. With the nifty, neat little device that the developer added called the Nano Disintegrator. Now, to build the nano disintegrator, we're going to need, there it is, we're going to need these Mark II power boosters. And those things are found right here. So the Mark I we can build with a power storage block, which exactly. is fine. But the, to build the Mark II, we're going to need eight of the Mark I's. So let's go ahead and see what we can do about building this thing. I already have this all set up over here. You can see pretty much the same sort of design as I had in, um, you know, over here and over there. So I didn't really want to do that yet again uh, on camera. And we're gonna want to, first of all, siphon some of these off. So we need eight. Uh, we're gonna remove only on that just because. And these need copper, and this is an extruder and a coiler. Coils it up. It sends the first one which charges it up and then sends it into here. So this requires 50 power per second, which we can make ample amounts of power. So we're not worried about that. Also, of note, all of the recipe tweaks, I, I worked through um, spending a couple hours going through all of my hard-coded recipe tweaks, and I moved them all into a mod. Um, so I haven't uploaded it to Steam. I'm not sure if there's anybody who would be interested, but it's just various recipe tweaks to some machines. Not not all machines, but it makes the gameplay go a little bit easier, a little bit faster. Um, and some things are just not as power hungry. The, you know, the plasma head charger, the, the warhead imbuer, stuff like that is, it, you know, it still requires a lot of power. It still is a couple turbines um, or a turbine and a half worth of power, but it's not three turbines worth of power or whatever. I mean, it's, it's, it's doable. Um, and I've found I've played several series now with a lot of these tweaks. And I just find that it's a little easier, a little smoother. I don't mind them as much. So we've got a bunch of crystal clocks here. I don't really have the nickel to pump into this system anymore. But we have 97 advanced machine blocks. That's pretty good. 98 total minus the two we already did so as you can see this thing is punching through really easily and we are charging up as soon as i have eight of these i think i yeah i have plenty of inventory space one of the few times in the game where my inventory isn't absolutely stuffed full of of 
blocks and ingredients and all that kind of stuff. So this thing is just slightly faster, I think. Oh no, it looks like it's timed almost perfectly. Oh no, it's actually, yeah, it's this thing is slightly faster than the coiler. So I would, to optimize this, I would just use um, two coilers. I would need two extr two extruders, obviously, because those are those are timed pretty accurately. Oh, I only picked up one. I thought I picked up the whole chest. Okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good to go. So now this should just be dumped somewhere in my inventory. Okay, so we want to this thing is 100 power per second and I can only feed it 80 20 40 60 80 so it's gonna be a little bit slower but it should work just fine so the ones that are left in here that we've already crafted I'm going ahead and converting all of those over again so we should Wow, that actually is going pretty fast. All the uh, internal power buffers of these pyros are probably draining pretty fast. So, let's see how many of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can manage with 10. Because the other element, these are tin plates and I crafted a bunch of them already so nano disintegrators lightweight machine housing one two three four one two three four one more there we go now we've got some nano disintegrators and we can clean up that little bit of resin that is poking through. That's why I put those blocks where I did. You can see ooh, right here. Now Centigrader does a three by three area and basically burns it away, leaving rubble left behind. It's a one use item. So where is this next block right here? I'm gonna put one here. And I should fall. Now I wanna clear out the ore that's in there and I should be able to, again, Q and hit the plus minus on the numpad and it should clear out any ore and finish up quickly. And it's done. So I'm gonna clean this up here. I will send some power. I just don't want the the lasers when they shoot and they don't hit anything and they constantly do that. Uh, it actually writes to the log file when it's doing that. So it's constantly writing to the log file. Uh, taking a look at the log file um, after my you know after my last episode, it was 24 megs with just the the few edits that I had in there, the, the few, uh... I am gonna create a little spot to launch from here. There we go. Oh. All right, so as you can see, I've already got the rack rails ready to go over here. This this setup is ready for use. Uh, I don't have any sort of smelting system. It's going to be very, very basic in the beginning. Obviously, I don't have the resources to build a whole, 
you know, system of power and, you know, dozens and dozens of smelters and all the stuff that we're going to do soon. Trademark soon. There we go. I want eight servo motors. And that should give us two basic cargo lifts. So I'm pretty sure this one, if I go in here, I can show you what I did for iron. I know there's a spot right in the corner here I can go down. So the, the cargo lift will come down and it will look and it will find these three hoppers. So it's a nice system mining directly and no Minoc feeding conveyor belts down here. That was the whole point of doing that. Oh, I launched it too high again. So let's put, I'm sure there's not enough power. There's only three solar panels up there. So I'm sure there's not enough power. But it should go down, fill up, come up, and just sit. Over here, we want... Oh, I got unloading top bars. Oh, okay. What? What? Okay. I was like, I didn't, I know I middle clicked that. Why did that build a turret? It was weird. All right. So we have this thing ready to go. Uh, well, not quite ready, ready. It's just built. There we go. Now I can get to the top of it. I need to put some power up here. Uh, I need to get some solar panels and I don't know how I'm going to I'm gonna need a whole lot of gold in order to build that I think I've got enough crystal I went down to grab some crystal but I am completely out of gold so I will go do that kind of stuff off camera. Resource gathering. You've seen me do it a few times now. I don't think it is all that exciting to watch, so I will avoid it. So there's a few more resources. Got a little bit of lithium. We got our iron back up to par here. Let's get a little bit of work on iron smelting while I'm at it. Um, I would like a lot of iron. Granted, I'm gonna need some of this power that's over here for iron. And should I, I'm just gonna have one for now. So here comes the lift. It's carrying 600. Oh, it must be rapid resources that it's doubling the amount of ore that it's bringing up. That is sweet. All right, I want a hopper. And oh, let's see, I want another. I can't. I can't make that remove only because this won't put them in there. So if I take a conveyor belt and move it like this, and up, and hopper, and set this one to remove only, then I can really double or even triple up the amount of ore that's going in there. Actually, you know what? I don't want this one. 
I've got the bottom one. It should be fine. And we're going to put two ore smelters in here. So one here and one here. Here and here. This is remove only, so these will be add only. And as far as power goes, we're going to need quite a bit of power over here. Because I have two smelters. So, how am I going to do power? First, I need some batteries. And laser transmitters. Um, I'm going to build one blue transmitter. See if see if I can make it make it work here. So if I put the battery right there, it will power both of these smelters. The tricky part is getting power over here. So if I want to pull from all of these, I'm going to need one more blue laser. I wonder if I can build a manufacturing plant yet. I would love to have a bunch of these all over the base. Okay, so my blue lasers I am going to put in place of my basics because I don't want the basics anymore. So that's going to beam that way. This is going to beam this way. So this will round out iron. There's 400 iron storage right there. And these are still heating up. I can supplement the power a little bit. Get them get them at least heated up. Once they're heated up, um they it should be pretty sustainable. I've got enough power going in there where it should should be fine. So it's able to it's able to push 40 power per second even though I'm only generating one, two, three. Oh, I am generating 40. Sweet. But I'm not sharing this last one. Just these 30. Which is fine because I'm not going to be drawing too much power from this line anymore now that I don't have any lasers down there. So it looks like our lithium got done. And as far as rack rails go, I'm going to need... How many do I have? 88. I'm going to need about... Uh, I'm going to need about 200 and change. So... If I do exactly 200, should be fine. So there's the rack railer doing its magic. And it looks like this is done already. Look at that, 82 Mark IIs. And I think these only give... I forgot how much Arthur gets when he uses a, when you use a Mark II. It powers Arthur back up. So if you're down exploring somewhere and you're running low on power, one of those chargers can be a lifesaver. That tin plate, I'll take the rest of those. And any more tin. I'm trying to I'm trying to build my tin back up to what it was before. And my iron now should be coming in like crazy. So I should be getting tons and tons of iron. I need to go down and get gold and some titanium as well. Let me go drop off. Let me go drop off some garbage. What? That didn't take long. And let's see, got my excavator. I need to set my excavator up to clear out 
all this earth up in here. Well, I suppose it wouldn't be called Earth. It would be called whatever alien moon or planet we're on. So, yeah, all of this stuff here, including the smeltering operations, um, will all be moved down to the... Basically, the factory floor down there and this will be kind of a pinnacle of the roof so everything will kind of shoot up to here it's kind of what I'm thinking Ooh, the rack rails are done there let me put a hundred more in there so basically the rack railer 50 power per second takes a second uses two or, or two iron but produces two racks so um, basically it's it's two iron for every um, for every meter you have to go down which is still I mean it's a sizable amount it's not nothing to sneeze at but it's not nearly the eight that it would normally take normally it's four rack rails per or four iron per rail which is a little excessive in my book. Yes, the cargo lifts are awesome and they're they're sweet, but making me wait until I have thousands of iron in order to use one is a little it's a little bit much. I'm a patient person, but not that patient. But that'll have to do it for this episode. So I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.